Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Lightfall video. Well, today it is Zer Day. Friday, February the 3rd, 2023, and Zer is back in the EDZ. So we're going to check it out and see what Zer has for us today. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. It is Zer Day Friday. Zer shows up in one of three different locations this week. He's in the EDZ. So we're going to spot into the Winding Cove, and we're going to hop over here and see what Zer has for us today. So once again, thanks for watching everybody, and without further ado, once again, here is Zer for the first time for the Season of Defiance. As always, we have Return of the Illustrious Illuminous, Exotic, and Graham, Graham, Graham. We can get after all of those old exotics. We have two random wolves, one for the Hulk Moon, one for the Dead Men's Health. For the Hulk Moon, we have Corkscrew Rifling, Alloy Magazine, Snapshots, and Polymer Grip. Pretty fantastic roll for the Dead Men's Tales this week. We have Full Born, Light Mag, Snapshots, and Composite Stock. Both should be excellent in PvE and in PvP because they're just OP. Pick them up and add them to your collection today. Our weapon of the week is none other than the Trinity Gold. Comes with an entrance perk called Split Electron, fires an arrow that splits from release and aiming down the sights, fully drawing the bow, decreases the spread, and some other fantastic perks. Pick it up out of teal collection and it's excellent. Next up, the knucklehead radar turns it. Perk is the upgraded sensor pack provided. Our radar when you're aiming and enhances your radar resolution when crouched. Excellent in PvE and in PvP. Next up, we have the exotic called the Sentinel Sex Gauntlets for the Titan class. Comes with an intrinsic perk called Biotic Enhancement. Increases melee and long range and improves melee and super damage when you're surrounded. Pretty good in PvE and in PvP as well. Although we really don't see too many people rocking it. And last but not least, for our Warlock class, we have the Claws of Akamar. Comes with an intrinsic perk called the West Paris, which gains another melee charge. Pretty decent. Our legendaries this week. First off, we have the Aikilos HC version 1.0.3 with the Stability Masterwork. 180 RPM, some decent traits. I love Frenzy, so it makes it definitely a pickup if you don't have this one. In my opinion, should be pretty good in PvE and in PvP. And, of course, we have some other legendaries to get after. One called the Disparity. This is going to be a pulse rifle, 450 RPM with the handling masterwork with swashbuckler. Hybrid roll a little bit, should be pretty good in PvE and in PvP. Pick it up if you don't have it and you need a little bit of stasis damage. Next up we have the Extraordinary Rendition Submachine Gun, 750 RPM with the stability masterwork. And we have Rampage and some extra stability rounds, really hard to get a good roll on this. This one's not bad, should be pretty good in PvE and in PvP. If you don't have a good roll, this one is definitely one you can work with. Pick it up and definitely add it to your collection. And we also have an Iota Draconis Fusion Rifle, 956 high impact frame impact at 100 with a charge time masterwork with some pretty decent traits on here. Nothing really great about the rolls this week from Zer. And the same goes with the Iota Draconis. Decent in PvE and in PvP. Should be pretty good. And next up, we have our shotgun. First in, last out shotgun. A little bit of dark damage, 65 RPM with the stability masterwork with fluted barrel. Auto loading holster and vorpal should be pretty good in PvE and in PvP because shotguns are just really good. Well, why not add it to your collection if you don't have it? But the weapon that is just straight up trash is the interference VI. 120 RPM, high velocity rounds, no implosion rounds, no spike grenades, no rampage, no splash buckler, no nada. Hard pass for me or the interference of VI. And last but not least, we have a lonesome sidearm, 260 RPM. Pretty good one right here, precision frame. You don't really see this around. Old school gambit weapon with some pretty decent tricks. You got range masterwork. We have, of course, opening shot and high count rounds, making it pretty good in PVE. It should be pretty good in PVP as well. And for our legendary set this week, we have our simulator set, 64 on the gloves, decent for transmog, for our chest piece, total of 62, and it looks pretty good for transmog in my opinion, if you like the future war court. We also have the bonds, they're gonna be the bond, yeah, probably one of the worst looking bonds in the game to me. And of course, we're gonna have the helmet, the helmet is decent, but the stats are just not there for me, so hard pass for me, total of 62, and total of 61 for the boots. Once again, hard pass. So there you have it, my dudes. That is what Zerv has for us this week. For the first week of the season of Defiance for March 3rd, 2023. Happy Friday, my guardians. And once again, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.